Okay, we are back. We back, we back, we back. Let's go ahead and make some stuff happen, man. I'm gonna wait on this chat to fill up so I'll know that people are in the proper broadcast. Nothing like talking to a group of people and talking to no one at the same time. So we gotta be in the building. I need to know who's ready to get trained, man. That's what I need to know. Cause this is something that everybody can talk all they want, but this is the part that everybody wanna skate on. The training. Brian, I want it bad. The training. Brian, how you hit the top? The training. Brian, how do I get my people? The training. Brian, how do I improve my finances? The training. Brian, how do I get, you know, to uh, level nine daily pay? The training. How do I get the car bonus? The training. And you know what everybody want to skip? The training. <laughs> I don't get that part. That's the part I don't get. Everybody want to go to heaven. Nobody wants to die. It's the training. It's the training. Now, I'm telling you guys, man, you will not hit the top without the training. And I don't mean one training. I mean consistent training. You have to be uh, become, you know, a, a expert in a specialized skill. Does that make sense? Like this is specialized knowledge. A home based business is that, but it still takes a specialized skill. Right. It takes influence. It takes persuasion. It takes charisma. It takes patience. It takes leadership. It takes persistence. It takes consistency. It takes all of these things, right? You would not hit the top without training. So I want to make sure we get this crystal clear and get this out of the way. This part of the business is not an option. This isn't, you know, oh, I plug in every now and then. You know, I stick my toe in it. Well, you can stick your toe in the training, but just know your paycheck going to look like a toenail. Okay, so I, it amazed me. Everybody want to get rich, but everybody want to skate and cut around the training piece. Nah, this is where I get, this is where we get serious on the training piece. I'm just, I'm just being straight with you. So you would know the culture of the team in extra digit. We take training seriously. We take training seriously. All right. So man, I see some people in the building. What's up, Josette? Josette, I'm so proud of you, girl. When I tell you, you are a beast that I knew you were going to be. Joseph, Keisha Taylor, what's up, Trevor Martin? New Jersey's in the building. My main man, my main man, TJ Busby, is in the building. One event, one game changer, and the boy has just officially lost his mind. All right, what's up, everybody? Oh, cash flow, Christy. Cat, ladies and gentlemen, cash flow, Christy, is in the building. All right, so let's rock and roll, man. Let's rock and roll, man. I, I hope my man Junior's out there. I don't see, I know Junior, it's too many names. Junior need to be in the building. Junior, thanks for working with me last night, man. You did a great job, Junior. If you see this on the replay, if you see this live, you did a great job, man. Preston, what's up, Preston? What's up, Jason? Jason, don't miss nothing. Jason Upton, what's up, man? All right, Kim, Kim Whitfield, what's up, Kim? I text you earlier, girl. I'm going to get with you. I'm going to get with you. Gail Starks, I see you. Shane T, what's up? Everybody, what's going on? Thanks for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. I really do, man. I am blessed to be in this position to live to see another year. And I'm not going to have the normal celebration, but who cares? Y'all know me. I mess around and do three more trainings today, and that'll be my birthday gift. So let's um get started. I want you to write down. I want you to write down. This is all off the top of my head. I don't have any notes. But so when you guys take these notes, I'm going to need these notes from y'all. Okay? I don't have any notes today. Not a sheet of paper. Off the top of the dome. This is just what I feel in my spirit. You guys need to know as brand new QFDs in MWR. Number one, I want you to write down Mindset 101. And I want you to underline it. Mindset 101. This is this section. Now, when you, when you write down Mindset 101, you guys know how I am. I want you to write down A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. Now, everything you do, when you teach something, you want to teach it in a framework. A framework is something that a person can take, take that exact same framework, the order that it's in, and go teach it to somebody else. A framework is like a recipe. Preheat oven 350. Uh, put Crisco or whatever. <laughs> vegetable oil at the bottom of the pan, dump the flour in, crack two eggs, right? You should be able to hand that to somebody 
they take that framework of instructions and go duplicate it. Now, I'm going to give you the steps, but I'm going to give you some notes to put on the side as well. Right. I'm going to give you some some things under mindset one on one, but I'm going to give you some notes to put on the side as well. All right. Put this as a quote. Not this is not number one. What matters is what duplicates. What matters is what duplicates. Guys, if whatever you're doing does not duplicate, it does not matter. It's the person with the fastest copy machine that's going to get to the top. I'm telling you, Brian, how is it that you keep breaking these records? I got a fast copy machine and I got some horses. You hear me? I got some workers. I got some people that just do what we implement and keep going. They do what we implement and keep going. They're not emotional about it. They don't question all these things. They do what we do and they keep going. I got some horses. I got some runners. I got some hustlers. I got some hungry people. You got to surround yourself with people who are hungry and, and want to duplicate. That's why I'm so successful. Man, and my leaders will tell you, man, like a lot of y'all like think I'm a nice guy and I am. A lot of y'all think um, I'm smile, I smile all the time and I do. But behind this smile and behind me being a nice guy, when I see you affecting other people's lives negatively, not with intention, not with intent, not like, a, not like maliciously, right? not that you're a bad person, but when you when you mess up the training and you start doing it your way and you in the extra digit umbrella, we got to have a discussion. And it's going to be a polite discussion. But I can't have a person with no experience that's not at the top, not in the comic club, not breaking records, never been to the top of anything, telling new people what to do. Then it makes all of us look like we don't know what we do. And that, ladies and gentlemen, we can't have. You see? So you're part of a brand. We want your ideas, but your idea has to duplicate. You understand? And you got to be at a certain respectable position to show us that that idea over a period of time has brought you some serious results. Until you do it our way, beta test it your way on your people. But don't mess around and hurt a whole bunch of people by keeping them away from the system. Okay? It's what duplicates that what matters. That's very is, is what matters. That's very, very important. The person with the fastest copy machine wins. And I got a serious copy machine. Our fast track to AD copy machine. Our how to ship your income.com member section copy machine. Our roadmap to uh, SD copy machine. Text message scripts copy machines. When uh, memes for social media, copy machines, right? Positive attitude, copy machines. In this organization, we don't allow politics. We don't allow drama. We don't allow negativity. All we do is produce. That's it. Put this in. Now, I haven't gotten to mindset one-on-one yet. Put this in your notes. You're either producing or you politicking. It's one or the other. And people generally politic when they're not producing. That's it. Okay? You either producing or you politicking. And people generally politic when they're not producing. What's politicking? Picking everything apart. You know, why they do this and why Brian say that and why he ain't call my name and why he always called this person and why she always got on that and are they dating? And is this person right here SD or is it AD? And how many legs they got and who sponsor who? Oh, you politicking. Because what you're trying to do is hide behind the fact that you ain't brought nobody in. So now you're trying to pick everybody else apart and see why her hair messed up. See, you're trying to pick everybody else apart and see why her shoes look like this and that. I'm on the webinar. Jump on Facebook.com backslash extra digit. Facebook.com one backslash extra digit. All right. Thanks. See, so you you politicking. So what we do is we handle politics with ease. You just get carved out and you go politic over there with your own people outside of the business. Y'all can talk about each other's shoes. Y'all can talk about each other's hair. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. But over here, we produce. You see, I had a young lady one time. Um, she was like, and I'll teach y'all this in this training I wrote called um, 
rules of engagement. And I had a lady one time, young lady one time, and she was politicking. She was always politicking. And one thing about me, I'll let a person kind of hang themselves. Like I'll watch and monitor a behavior because we all make mistakes, right? I'm not flawless. Nobody's flawless. So I'll see if that person just, you know, was having a bad day and maybe taking it out on somebody else or was being disrespectful or is this a trait or a quality that I see all the time? So let's just call her Barbara. I got tired of Barbara politicking. This was years ago. So she came to me, she's like, Brian, you see uh, Kim shoes? I said, no, nah, I haven't seen Kim shoes. You got to see Kim shoes. I took Barbara over to Kim. Kim was standing right there. I said, now, Barbara, okay, now tell me what you were saying. Oh, now, nah, girl. Okay, that's what I thought. If you can't say it to Kim, don't say it to me. If, if you can't say it to Kim, don't say it to me. Because I'm going to ask you to say it with us so we both can talk about Kim's shoes. But I think Kim should know how we feel about her shoes. That killed. Barbara didn't bring me nothing else. See, we're talking about, see, see in this business, we're going to make the money. Believe it or not, that's the simple part. It's not easy, but it's simple. Right? That, as a side note, this business is not easy, but it's simple. What makes it not easy is you're dealing with people. Right? And people are emotional. You got all these people from all these walks of life coming together. Some black, some white. Some grew up with parents, some didn't. Some grew up in nice homes, some grew up in the streets. Some went to college, some are dropouts. Some have had alcoholic addictions that they're fighting. Some people have um, are on medications to keep them calm. Some people um, are over or over or are too calm and they just feel like they need to be elevated. Some people get in this thing for the wrong reasons to break us apart. Some people join this thing for the family connection. Some people join this thing because they're looking for love. Some people, you will be surprised at this melting pot of an organization called Extra Digit. But I'm gonna tell you this right here. I know a politician when I see one. I know a drama king, yes king, when I see one. I know a drama queen when I see one. And I want you to know that collectively as a group, we produce. That's, that's what we do. We produce. So I want to make sure we set the record straight with all of our new people and all our new Q QFDs. We produce. And what matters is what duplicates. Because you know why I'm hitting this political thing first while we're small? Because you know what also duplicates? See, duplication is good and bad. Politics duplicate too. Politics duplicate too. What you mean I can't put this in the group? Why none of my stuff don't ever get approved? Why not? Well, calm down. Learn the rules of engagement. We don't approve welcome posts. We don't approve welcome posts because we feel like it's so many people in the organization that if we approve every welcome post, all you will see in the group is welcomes. And then you're going to miss conference call tonight, 730, featuring Brian House. That got pushed down by 89 welcome posts within the past 30 minutes. We don't approve welcome posts. Calm down. Now, if you want to do welcome posts, you do that in your group. See? But when you got thousands of people welcoming people, you see? In the chat, hey, stop putting all them thumbs ups and replying to everything. You pushing all the important information down. The chat is for information. You see? So when people start learning the culture, oh, I need to be a student. Put that as a side note, I am a student. See, so you want to absorb the information. Put yourself in student mode. So the business is not easy, but it's very simple. That's the simple part. The hardest part about the business is the people part. Okay, that's what knocks you out the game. People's attitudes and personalities and drama and oh, Brian's too busy for me and he never called me back and he can't do my Zoom and he guys, I can't do everybody's Zoom. That is it's it's physically impossible. I can't do everybody's webinar. I can't do everybody's three ways. I can't do everybody's nothing. That's why we have in training because you got to step up and become me better than me. There's a lot of talented people in Extra Digit, far, 
far better than me. I just haven't found them yet because I haven't given them the platform yet to shine. So guess what? I'm about to introduce you guys to some people that I know for a fact will one day be better than me if they aren't all ready. All right, y'all want y'all to get yourselves together. Let's bring on ladies first. Give it up for my good friend, Miss Jessica Shoe for Jessica. Mike, check. I'm here. Can you hear me? Jess, you got on the same page, sir. Okay. <laughs> I see you. I ain't mad at you. But if you did, let's see who else might be wearing the brand out here. Bert Sims, can you hear me? I can hear you. Bert, you, got, uh, you went to Georgia Tech. Yeah, I got on a yellow jacket shirt. Got to represent. <laughs> represent. Uh oh, District <laughs> Director Andre Russell. What's up, Dre? Let's bring on Dre, we can't hear you. Hey, what's going on, Brian? Happy birthday, man. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you. I'm celebrating my birthday with you guys. Now, you got on what? You got on your Bulls hat? Got on the Bulls. No page, no page today, but I got one in there waiting on me. All right, all right. Me and Jess holding it down. Let me see who else we got here. I got some people that I think can be better than me one day. Where did he go? All right, I lost one. I think I lost one. Executive producer, when my other trainer comes back, just bring him back in a minute. All right, so guys, how y'all feel? Y'all feel good? Yeah. All right, good deal. Good deal. So what we're going to do, guys, I got some people that I'm training to become trainers. See, this is what we do. We're going to give all you guys that are SD and above a platform, right? Jessica's SD. Bert is an SD on his way to area director. Bert will probably be the next area director to pop in the organization. Uh, Bert will probably hit area director, honestly, in the next 24, 48 hours. I'm going to give you an early congrats, man. Let's go. Dre? District director on his way to regional director. So it's not about title and position. It's about proving yourself first, and then we're gonna groom you up. Everybody, include my facilitators on the screen. Let's go. Let's talk about mindset. So we got politics out the way. We don't do we, we don't do politics. We do production. Let's set that foundation. Mindset one on one. I want you to write down a. We are the root. We are the root. See the reason I want want to go ahead and bring these guys on the screen because I want you to see something. I'm training the trainers at the same time. They're taking notes, but they're also going to be part of my training. You guys have to get a Zoom account. Everybody listening, get the Zoom account. I don't care if you go with the free one right now. It won't be able to do the webinars on it. It'll have the meetings on it, but not the webinar part. I think the $19 one has the webinar part. But you got to get your Zooms together, and y'all got to start practicing and rehearsing the things I'm about to show you today. You got to start practicing. Hey. Jessica, let me hear you say this. Okay, Bert, that was a little crazy. When she asked you this, you should have said that. Oh, no, that's not the first thing they do. The first thing they do is they go to a member section, a how to shift your income, and the member section trains everybody. See, you'll be surprised what your group is doing that's duplicating, and it's duplicating wrong. Okay? Now, anybody on the camera, don't, don't feel like you got to be paralyzed. If you got to cut the camera off, you're good, Jess. If you ever got to cut the camera off, just disappear, and we'll come right all right, there's Brandon. What's up, Brandon? Got you, got you. All right, good. good deal. So what, what I'm doing, guys, I got four of my up-and-coming leaders here. They're participating in the training, right? But I'm, I'm training them, but I'm also training, what, 413 people right now that will eventually be 10,000, 20,000 who see this. Now you see why we're a machine? We duplicate everything, and I do everything openly so that you can write down, write it down and take notes. Mindset 101, number one, we are the root. Your team must understand that we are the root. Now, somebody needs some WD-40, Jessica. That's all I'm going to I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Somebody need to spray the act. Bert, what they need? Somebody. Some of that grease. Yeah, they need some of that country grease, man. <laughs> okay, just talking. Another thing in extra digit, we're going to have fun. Now, if you can't get picked on and you don't like to laugh, you might want to find you another company. But in MWR, we have fun. We keep it light because it's, it's, it's tough enough out here. So we can't have fun. Trust me. They be on me too. Trust me. All right. We are the root. Now, what is we are the root? This is what this means. They're basically... We, we are the root refers to the timing, okay? When you see the SDs get their award, it looks like a tree trunk 
The reason it's a tree trunk is because when I joined six months ago, I created this hashtag called we are the root. And what that means is you a, a tree grows down before it shoots up. Write that down. A, a tree grows. I know it's an oxymoron, but a tree actually grows down before it shoots up. So if you think about a tree, right, it has leaves on the very end or fruit. That's a manifestation. That's the result of the tree growing. The reason I love trees and animals, and you'll find that out later, but the reason I love trees, trees do a lot of things. Number one, they provide shade in, from the sun, right? Number two, they provide, when the leaves are off in the winter, trees, people don't understand this, but they break up the wind. So when a wind comes through, trees actually protect your house because when a strong wind comes through, trees deflect all the wind through all the branches to make sure no one gust can just come through at the same time. So in the winter, they provide um, the, the, uh, deflection from the wind, but in the summer, they provide shade from the sun. Now, a tree also, as you know, gives us, what is it? What is it, Bert? We give off carbon dioxide and they give us oxygen. Is that right? Exactly. Okay, I had to make sure I had somebody from Georgia Tech break it down. So we give off the carbon dioxide, the trees give us oxygen. Now the list goes on and on and on, but my point is there's a relationship between us and trees. Watch, I'm going somewhere. The leaf and the fruit represent the end. That'll be individuals making 5,000 a month, 3,000 a month. You have people that come in this business 20 years from now, fix their finances, and make anywhere from three, five, seven thousand dollars a month. That's the leaf and the fruit at the end of the tree when the tree is 20 years old. So just for the sake of your notes, put leaf, fruit equals five thousand a month. Now, on the now the leaf and the fruit are all on the end of a limb. The limb is the part that breaks off, right? Not the branch, that's the next step. I'm talking about the limb, right? The branch has limbs, little twigs, I should say, on the end of it that have the leaves on them. Those are the people making like five figures a month, the limbs. So they'll come into business and they'll generate about five figures a month. 10 years from now. Don't quote me on these times. I'm just giving you an analogy. 10 years from now. Man, look, that's still both the fruit, the leaf, the limbs, those groups still make way more than some jobs. But now you got the branch, right? You got the real branches that create the twigs that the limbs and leaves are on. The branches are making high five figures, 30,000 a month. See, the limbs are making 10,000 a month, 11,000 a month. The branches, 30,000 a month, 50,000 a month. See, the branches create the limbs that create the fruit. That's level three, high five figures. The tree trunk, six figures a month. See, the tree trunk has the branches. The branches have the limbs. The limbs have the leaves. The tree trunk, 100000 a month. That's your presidential bonus alone, where people are making six figures a month. The root question. Brandon, are we the root? We absolutely are. Dre, are we the root? Yes, sir. Jessica, are we the root? Absolutely. What are we? We are the we root. Are the root are the individuals in the company right now that will be making seven figures a month if you do this right. That's not a. That's not an exaggeration, guys. Now I'm not guarantee. This is. Please understand. This is an analogy. Don't hold corporate to it. Don't hold the training. To, it's not MWR. It's not Brian House. I'm giving you an analogy that I've seen companies where when you're the root of the company, I know guys that make seven figures a month, seven figures a month. Now, 
Bert, if we mess around and we are the trunk, the next wave of people are the trunk. Are they mad at us? Uh, not at all. That's still a million dollars a year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years from now, Jessica, if a person is the fruit and they're making 5000 a month, 60 grand a year, or oh, they just a little cherry or a peach or a plum or a grape, are they mad at us for making 60 grand a year because they saw it 20 years from now? No. Because here's what I want everybody to understand. It's not the comp plan. It's what you do with the experts from the comp plan. Put that in your notes. It's not the comp plan. See, everybody 20 years from now can even be the root. Because if you make it five grand a month, nine grand a month, working from home still, taxes down, debt free, investing in your PRA, you will still get the same money as the people who are the root today. It's not the comp plan. It's what you do with the money from the comp plan. You understand everybody good? So I want to make sure you get this. You can get wealthy. $500 a day, which is where I am right now, I'm 51% to the thousand a day. I'm halfway there already. Ryan, what's so special about you? I'm not emotional. I'm not emotional. People close to me will tell you, listen, you can ask Christy. I talked to a gentleman the other day. Christy put me on the phone with a guy the other day. Bert, he worth over $100 million. Mm. A hundred million. That cash flow, Christy, now let me, now, let me tell you something about that cash flow. I, I, I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. I'm away. He worth a hundred million. He actually worth more than a hundred million. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it conservatively. Now you would have thought, man, a hundred million, what he want with this? See, y'all don't understand. People with money, it's not that he needs the money. He's surrounded by a bunch of people who probably trying to get his money. Family members, I need this and that. Co-workers, man, can you loan me this and I mean business partners, can you loan me this and that? I'm following hard times. I'm following. He like, look, I got a business opportunity for you guys where this gentleman is showing people how he making $500 a day. Let me show this to y'all. He still understands leverage and he don't need money another day in his life. I said, James, what you been doing, man? Oh, just got back from quail hunting. Quail hunting? Yeah, we went down and we get, you know, 300 acres of land and me and my partners go quail hunting. Quail hunting? We go fishing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You got money. But let me tell you something. I said, James, what you been doing, man? Oh, we went up to Iceland on the private jet. The private jet seats 14. We just got back from Iceland. Iceland? Yeah, man. Somewhere in Iceland where you can see the um the, the, the sky changes colors. What do y'all know anything about that? Where the, the, at night or something, the sky changes colors. They call it some kind of spectrum. I said, what? Now I'm on the phone with him. But when we got down to MWR, ask Christy. At that point, I take the conversation. See, it's not arrogance. He's not in the business. I'm in the business. I am the root. So if you want to understand how this works, James, you got to listen to me on this one. And he was just as cool and calm as I don't know what. Hey, Brian, what do you propose we do for this? Hey, Brian, if I introduce you to this many people, what about that? Coolest DECA millionaire. No, he's not a DECA millionaire. It's a I think it's called a Centra. Six figure millionaire. Coolest Centra millionaire I've ever met. So how is it that I'm talking to people worth $100 million plus and they like, okay, leverage. I get it. I love what y'all doing. We can help some people. And then you talk old broke Joe and he need 15 phone calls, three follow-ups, two webinars, and 18 questions. But man, come on. Come on. Broke, broke Joe got a 300 credit score and want to keep you on the line for 30 minutes? Come on, man. Y'all don't understand, we the root. We the root. All right, Dre, what you got to say to that, man? What, what is it about people's mindset when it comes to people chasing broke people over and over and over again? Dre hit district because he don't deal with no broke people. And I'm talking about mindset, guys. I'm not talking about your money. I'm talking about people who, who don't have the mentality to be successful. So never think I'm talking condescending. Broke is a mindset, okay, or poor is a mindset, right? So people have a poor mentality that 
you got to chase them 50 times because they're skeptical. And you got to call them back 92 times because they don't really have a 228. And they really don't want to tell you that. But that's the real reason. Wealthy people don't hide behind stuff like that. Wealthy people get their questions answered. They understand your time. Me and James caught up about, I wanted to hear about the Iceland. He going to text me the videos. I wanted to see the sky he was talking about. And we keep it moving. Dre, what is it with poor mentality, man? How do you keep from chasing them down? Uh, man, I just keep moving, Brian, because like you said, it, it's all at the end of the day, uh, it all comes down to money. You know, they don't have the money. So they're looking for ways, looking for excuses to get the money. And, you know, at the, re the reality is we just got to give them time to get their money, give them the information and then keep it moving. Because if you spend time w working with one person trying to get them started, you could have missed out on 10, 15, 20 other people because you're spending all your time focused on one individual when you got 10 people over here ready to go. But you'll never know because you never even got to them. That's right. That's right. Put this in your notes, guys. Do not clog my pipeline. Do not clog my pipeline. See, when you're talking to one person and you keep doubling back 52 times, they clogging your pipeline. We're talking about mindset. We're on Mindset 101 right now. We are the root. And when you understand that, you understand that you don't have a lot of time to waste. See, here's something I want to give you before we get off number one. The more money you make, the more valuable your time. Brian House is wealthy, not rich, wealthy. Do you think when I talk to Brian House, I'm going to inundate him with something that has nothing to do with furthering the company and furthering our position? The man could be talking to anybody. He got a lovely wife. He got children. He got family. He got uh, business to take care of. He's dealing with vendors. He dealing with IT, he dealing with marketing, he dealing with videos, he dealing with contracts, and he dealing with social distancing, and he dealing with people close to him getting sick, and he dealing with the government with taxes, and he dealing with helping, you know, you know, running a multi-million dollar company, inflation, big business, taxes, debt, all the things we deal with, he's helping people overcome, but he's still a multi-millionaire. Why? Because he valued his time. So we must value his time. So people must value your time. The more money you make, the more valuable your time. That's why I don't let people play around with me. I'm not just talking about prospects. I'm talking about reps too. Listen, all my leaders will tell you, and all you guys that are getting to know me will tell you, I love my team, man. I'll go out of my way. If you're in the trenches with me, you're going to hit the top. Now, you might kick, you might scream, you might fight. But you're going to look up and you're going to get an email that says you've been promoted just because I see you trying. I see you're hungry I, and I'm going to train you and I'm going to work with you. But I'm going to tell you right now, I don't let people waste my time. That, that I can tell you. I do not let people waste my time at all. My father passed away February 1st and he was fine a year ago. You understand? A year ago. So everything is cool until it's not. So I don't let people waste my time. I'm gonna live my life. We're gonna get this business off the ground. I'm not here to create MWR history. I'm here to create history in the MLM and home-based business space. I'm not here to be a rock star in making wealth real. I'm here to make making wealth real a rock star company. And I want other industries, Melaleuca, uh, uh, home care, right, to say, we need their economic empowerment division and solutions. I want Herbalife, billion dollar company, product, uh, product based health to say we need their information. See, I want billion dollar companies that's been around forever to still understand this company making wealth real in the next 10 years will far surpass anything they've ever done like pound for pound, right? I can't compete in 10 years with a company that's been around for 30 years, but I mean like pound for pound, ratio for ratio. I'm not here to be a rock star and making wealth real. I'm here to make making wealth real a rock star, and it already is. So we the root, and we don't let people waste our time. My reps will tell you, I love them, but I don't sit on the phone with you all day. Now, there's hangout time. There's hangout time. We let our hair down when we eat. We let our hair down after the meeting when we go have a margarita, right? And sip on some uh, uh, wild turkey, okay? <laughs> Inside joke. 
But <laughs> when we go sip on a margarita, I have a cocktail with you, some lemonade. I might have one that's going to be about all, all for me before my eyes start getting small and I start talking crazy. But we have a great time afterwards. You know, Bert, talk about the social aspect, man. You've been hanging out with us. You've never done a home-based business before. But what is the fun part about the business that you've seen? Some intangibles. Oh, man, that's just people. Like just being in the people business, getting the opportunity to to hang with somebody like a Brian Bean, right? So I mean, killing it in the business. Happy birthday! Thank it's, you. it's crazy. You're gonna get happy birthdays for the next 365 days because this video. We got 400 people watching it now. By the end of the day, it'll be 10,000. Next year, it'll be 100,000. Everybody's gonna think your birthday every single day of the year. But yeah, just right. that opportunity, just to hang out with people. You think about picture people like a Mr. Richard Greer, you know, older gentleman, but just absolutely amazing personality. You know, I got the opportunity to hang out with Monty. I know he's killing it in the business, and he'll kill you if 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 you you get out of you know Mr. Kung Fu Master over there. So um, it's it's just that 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 yeah that that camaraderie uh, of people that are like minded that are doing the same thing all marching to the same goal right there you go there you go all right so that's what we are now mindset let's go to number two i want you to write down stages of growth stages of growth now this is something i normally give my coaching clients monthly man i mean you this i'm giving y'all this for free i'm gonna give you this nugget but I, i'm not gonna go into it like i would on our monthly program but i'm gonna go into this now because you need to understand the stages of growth as far as the mindset goes all right, write down A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. So now you're on number two, letters A through E, under step two, under mindset. Everybody got me on the, on the webinar? Y'all with me? Yes, sir. We got to create frameworks. Anytime we teach, we have to teach in a format that you can hand this sheet of paper to the next person, and then they can do it. That's all we want to do. Can we take this sheet of paper? Is it too complicated? Can we then go over it with a group of people on this Zoom that you got to do this same thing with your 25 people, with your 89 people, with your 700 people? You see, you got to do this same thing. Say, man, let me tell y'all what I learned. This is what Mr. Bean and Bert and Brandon and Jessica and Andre, some of the up and coming leaders. This is what they went over today. We got to get this thing together. We went over the five phases of growth. Let me give y'all the five phases of growth real quick. You see, you don't have to do this whole training. And I, I'm not going to be here all day. It's my birthday. I got to go. Oh. We can be here as long as <laughs> no, I'm just sorry. Um, <laughs> I got to go. I got some stuff planned tonight. Dre, we supposed to hit the club. Then after that, man, we supposed to go. We supposed to go to another lounge. And then, you know me, we getting into old schools and all of us rallying. Oh, that was last year. Anyway. So, phases of growth. A is called phase one. Phase one equals growth and building. That's called A. That's A under the phases of growth. Now, I'm about to save y'all's life. I'm telling you. I'm about, to, I'm about to tell you how this works. And then we're going to go over the tactics. And then we'll take a break. Or depending on how y'all feel, I'll give you some more. Phase one is A. This is where all activity and productivity happens in what's called the building phase of your business. The building phase of your business. This is where momentum is growing. Everybody peaking interest. Everybody's excited. That's where we are right now. Coming off this stimulus week, we are in what's called phase one of the five stages of momentum or of growth. Phase one is called growth and building. Problems are easy to solve in phase one. When you got momentum, man, you don't even have time for no politics. People come to you with that mess. You're like, man, look, I'm, I just popped three EDs. Watch out, now I'm trying to hit SD. You don't even have time. I can fix something with a text message. Hey, what's the problem? Good. Enter. It's handled. Don't worry about it. Let's keep moving. See, phase one is fast and you don't have time to slow down for anything that's trying to get you out of phase one. See, problems are easily fixed in phase one because we're moving like a, 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 a train with no brakes and no gears. We just flowing. But what you have to watch is B. 
B is called management mode. Now, what you have to do, guys, with all these new um, QFDs that just joined the business, you got to make sure they get in phase one and stay. Now, I'm going somewhere with this, but phase two is management mode. This is where you bring in a few people and then you start worrying about what they're doing. See, I brought in See if y'all can see this. New QFD, I mean, MWR Financial, new person, new person, promotion, new person. You see it? I sponsored two new people this morning. New person this morning. This morning. This morning. I'm a, a regional director in phase one. I sponsored. Two new people last night. Look at the date. Last night, new financial, new financial, new financial. I sponsored five people in 12 hours. Brian, how do you do that? Brian has a database that I built over the past 15 years that I email, that I send free content to. See, we're going to teach you these things so you can stay in phase one. So I hit my database. I just keep hitting them slowly but surely. Here's some free information. Here's what's going on at home. Here's what's going on with your daily stimulus. Here's a mindset video on how to avoid negativity. Hey, man, I've been watching you. One guy called me today. He may be watching right now. Um, Darnell. Darnell said, Brian, I've been watching you for four years. Four years. He joined last week. He been watching me on YouTube for four years. He said, man, I ain't never seen nothing like it. I decided finally to just give you a call. Four years. So it's not that I'm a rock star. I've been building my brand for years. I can shave years of your life off. I signed up five people in 12 hours. Oh, and by the way, it's 228, not 129. So don't tell me price matters. It doesn't. Put that in the comments. Price does not matter. It's 228. I'm still signing them up like it was 129. They missed the special. They got my email in my database that the special was happening. They just missed it. And they still want to join for the big 228. You know why? Because I stay in phase what? Everybody hold up the one. There you go, Brandon. One more time. We're going to do the wave. Uh, 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 uh. Jessica, uh. Okay, we're gonna work. On it. Okay, don't worry about it. Uh, My name is there and I'm gonna hold them up. <laughs> Jessica, got that. Jessica got that internet. Jessica, we need that internet to flow now. We're gonna go from Brandon to Dre to Bert to Jessica. Let's go. Uh. Look at Jessica. Look at Jessica. <laughs> My oh, name is not done. Jessica, are you on T Mobile? That's all I'm asking. No, I'm just joking. No, Verizon. Okay. <laughs> all right. Phase two. Management mode. Stay out of management mode. That's where you stop working the business because you so busy trying to see what your people doing. Meanwhile, you haven't sponsored a person in three months. Brandon, do you know how easy it would be for me to be in management mode? Like right now, couldn't I just cruise, really? You really could. I could just cruise. Hey, Bert, what you do today? Hey, uh, uh, Cortez, uh, Springer, how, how many you got? Hey, Christy, how many of you signed up? Oh, you just brought on Junior from Steve Hart Morning Show. How he coming? Uh, Dre, you just popped three areas. What y'all doing? No, I train them and I get my butt back on the phone because guess what? These five new people, they're in my RD code. See, y'all don't know nothing about that. When we get to new people, we, we'll explain that at another training. I got to get five, I gotta get these people in my RD code because now I got a promotion and every time you get a promotion, you go back to phase. Watch this. Let me see who's paying attention. Uh, uh, uh. Look at Jessica. <laughs> hey, she probably started 15 seconds ago. <laughs> Bert, she didn't she didn't time the way she is. I got it. I got you, Jess. I ain't mad at you. All right, here we go. <laughs> phase three. Blaming your upline. 
I'm about to save your life now. I'm, I'm telling you how this works. Phase three, see, when you get in management mode and you start managing everything because you checking everybody out and want to see what everybody else doing. Hey, Bert, what you doing? Hey, Quanta, how many you got? Hey, Krista, y'all still good? Hey, Richard, what you up to? Charles, how many you got? See, Judy, how many you got? Andre Moore. I start calling. I done lost track of all the ADs, man. Congrats to all the newly promoted ADs, man. Congrats to all you guys. I mean, it's amazing. Um, we are now officially the district factory. Put that in your notes. You know, we 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 produce district directors now. So ADs, you ain't done nothing. I'm just joking. Got one more level to go. This is the district factory, right? We're going to create that one minute mile mentality where when one person broke that mile, everybody else did it like it was nothing. OK, so we're going to become the district factory here. But what happens is when you get in management mode, let me tell you what's going to happen. It takes the outsider. Normally, your upline to tap you on the shoulder and say, hey, you know, Brandon, stay in phase one, man. We got to keep each other in check. Make sure you keep bringing in your new people and don't, <laughs> and don't just manage your existing people. And it will happen. Brandon, get attitude. You know why? Because he 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 an ED now. You see, he got his PED. You can't tell him nothing because he got a certificate in his little his little lapel pen. So now he starts to blame his upline. When you start blaming the upline, you in serious trouble. Write that down. When you get to phase three, you in serious trouble because your upline's job is to coach you and nurture you. Now, it doesn't mean they always right. And if you have any questions, call your upline district and they'll help you guys sort it out. Right. By the time you hit district, we've been through enough to kind of know all situations and we'll help you sort it out. But when you start getting mad at your upline and blaming them for your lack of success, you on phase three. Now, as you can see, it's about to go down. Number four. Or or on your thing, D. Blaming the company. Boy, when you get here. You almost on E. And E is where you don't want to be. Let me tell you what blaming the company means. You know, my uh, enrolled agent, I hit the chat and it took him two minutes to reply. <laughs> I uploaded my credit reports and I ain't heard nothing back. Well, you do have 17 bankruptcies three foreclosures, eight voluntary repossessions, 29 inquiries, and a judgment. They working on it. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm just joking. But you start looking for flaws in the system. You know, now, if Brian would just train more on that, because people need that. He don't talk about the personality is enough. And I, if my people heard more about winter, spring, summer, fall, he need to go back to that. See, when you start questioning me, you start questioning Mr. House, you start questioning the, uh, the uh, colors on the website, you about to hit phase five. You know what phase five is? Or E, phase out. You done. That's when now you get a text message from us you don't even reply. <laughs> you see your upline calling and you done went into what we call witness protection. Okay. R write this down. Don't go into witness protection. That's when you disappear. Oh man. That's Jessica. Don't pick that up. She want, she want to know what I'm, what I'm up to. <laughs> hey, that's Andre. Hey, Dre, Dre, Dre. I talked to all that mess when I joined and now Dre trying to see if I'm serious. Don't pick that up. We call it hiding behind the sweet peas. <laughs> that mean, when I, when I was coming up, we used to call it hiding behind the sweet peas. That mean now you see one of us in the grocery store, Bert, and we ain't even friends no more because <laughs> now the business that made you feel kind of fun. <laughs> Go and run and walk the other way like I didn't see you. Like I didn't see you, right? So now since you talked all that trash about what you was going to do, I'm on the training, but got uh, extra digit, uh, facebook.com backslash extra digit facebook.com backslash extra digit you got me okay thank you. i'll see you there okay. see and y'all think it don't happen to me and i called him i called him before 
I called him. Hassan, I'm going to kill you. No, I'm just joking. I know people busy. It's Saturday. I'm just playing with you. So when people start hiding behind the sweet peas, oh, they go, they go Brian. They out. Because now they're ashamed of the fact that they didn't do nothing. And now they want to blame MWR, D. They want to blame the upline, C. They didn't tell you they was in management mode, B. And they didn't tell you they start they stopped in they stopped peaking interest, which is A. That's how you know. I'm telling y'all now, that's how you know when your person is just about out the game. They're gonna go through those steps. I'm, I'm telling you what I know. Now let me tell y'all something. I ain't the, I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. I ain't the wealthiest person in network marketing. I ain't got the biggest group in the world. But you're gonna be hard fed press to find a better trainer. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I study people for a living. God gave me a gift. I know what I'm talking about. When you see these phases, catch them. Hey, bro, you're starting to sound like you're on phase three. Let me get you back in phase one where production is happening because you're starting to do a lot of blaming. I heard you talk about me. I heard you talk about the colors on the website. How many people have you talked to this week so we can get you a check? See, when you get a check coming, we don't hear nothing about the colors on the website. You see? I don't even know what the website looked like half the time. You, you'll be surprised. You know what's funny? Y'all will be surprised what I don't know about this business. Don't even know. Don't even care. Because I tell you what I do know. I know this. I know what I'm telling you. I know how to hear regional director. See, people don't understand. All I got to do is cash my check. The rest of this stuff everybody talking about with anything outside of being productive and helping people in this crazy time, open up their business is a waste of my time. It's a waste of my time. And I got other businesses I run. I, am I making sense? I have a training company that I run and MWR is part of that. I have people that I teach how to speak for a living. I have people that I teach coaching, personal growth and self-development for a living. I'm about to launch my podcast where I show people how to how I introduce you guys to some of my friends who've been to prison, who are now out of prison, who have who are single moms, who you had no idea how they overcame. And now they're they're filthy rich. I got friends that are celebrities. I'm about to do my podcast and bring another another audience of people in to MWR. See, I'm always growing. I'm always developing. My podcast is going to be sick. I'm always building a brand that leads people right back to what we do. That's how I get so many people because I'm not dragging and wasting my time on no deadbeats or I will be on phase out. Make sense? Jessica. Let's see if we can hear from you. Say you can hear me. Yes. What keeps you going? What keeps you from fading out the business? How is it that you brand new in the business, you just hit senior, how do you keep going and staying focused? I ain't never heard you say one bad thing or have a bad day. How, you, how, do, you, how do you do that? Staying connected, making sure I'm staying connected to the source, giving absolutely no excuse, excuses or explanations about anything. There you go. So she guys, what she did, she removed the E, the emotions. She stayed connected and she removed the other E, all that explaining. She removed that E. Bert, I understand you got a real big why, man. You got a big why. You got a lovely family. I've seen him. I met him. I know him. What keeps you going? Um, I mean, definitely what um, Jessica just said, but as well as knowing that not only am I helping myself, um, helping my family, providing all these great solutions, but then those that we are providing the solutions to, or we're not really providing them, but through MWR Financial, it's putting them on the path to greatness. And I mean, I just have a heart to help people. And that definitely keeps me going, knowing that we're able to help others. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so I want y'all to write down what keeps you going, right? Everybody that's out there in uh, internet land, Facebook world, replay world, what keeps me going? And make about a list of three things that keep you going, right? I'm not gonna get like a game changer. We break this stuff down psychologically and everything. Uh, game changer was scheduled for. We we'll get back to that at another announcement. It was scheduled for uh, June yeah. five through seven, right? But uh, you know, we had to see how this thing work out, right? 
um, either way that weekend, we'll have a virtual game changer and then we'll have a real game changer um, when things kind of open back up. But a game changer, we get together, we write our goals down, then I give you tactical approaches to hitting them. There are a lot of different things we do. But for the sake of this drill, write down three things that keep you going. And then guess what? You stay plugged into those three things. See, people wonder why I talk to you guys so much and I train you so much. That's what keeps me going. When I get a notification email that some, somebody gets promoted, it just makes my day. Oh, check this out. Oh, Experian just emailed me. Guess who must be working? MWR. Oh, we have a dispute that's being reviewed. You have a update on your dispute. Uh-huh. Your dispute has been completed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Give me them two points. No. <laughs> All right. Dre, what keeps you going, man? What keeps you motivated? What makes you stay plugged in the game, man? So, 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 many, so, things, so many things, so many things, Similar to Brett, I just love helping people. I got an echo. Is that my phone? No, you fine. Okay. All right, yeah, man, so many different things, man. I just love helping individuals, but, um, it's a couple of things, man. One thing is, you know, I always told myself, I don't, my, my dad was real strict growing up and he always told me what to do. And I said, man, I never want anybody to tell me what to do when I become an adult. So then I got a job and I feel like people me what to do. And I said, man, listen, this ain't gonna work. I need to find something else where I can do it myself and I ain't got to answer nobody but me. So re reality is, man, that's it, man. Just really wanting to be my own boss, have control of my time, you know, spent being able to be here with my family 24-7. Versus, you know, being at a job, you know, when I have worked 40, 50 hours a week, you know, I miss my family. I miss home. I miss being with them. And so this allows me to be home with my wife and we spend a lot more time together. So um, definitely the time freedom more than anything is, is you know, what drives me to, you know, keep going. There you go. Time freedom. Right. Time freedom. He don't like people telling him what to do. Like I'm a lot, I'm a lot like that, too, Bert. You know, I, I, I mean, uh, Dre, I just I just don't like people telling me what to do. I just don't. I mean, I, I'm just wired that way. You know, and if you tell me what to do, you better do it with some some respect. You know, I just hey, hey, look. So, um, you know, I'm a fitness manager at a gym, and I, ha I haven't worked in years, but I just took this position about six months ago. And uh, my manager, who is a district manager, he's, I, I say, um, hey, listen, I want to go on a vacation with my wife X Y Z Z. He's like, ah, oh, Dre, that's a um, that's a big time of the year. You can't take that week off. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. I wasn't asking permission. I was just letting you know, but I was doing it in a formal way. I don't ask permission. Like, this, that's why jobs don't work for me. <laughs> you know, if I say I'm taking my wife somewhere for a week, this ain't a question. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, that's where we going. <laughs> right. Right. I let you know, fill the spot because I ain't going to be here. That's right. That's right. So we about to start building. Brandon, give me an aha moment so far, man. Give me something I've said so far on your notes that you were like, okay, now before today, I didn't know that. Give me an aha moment. Everybody at home, write down an aha moment, a takeaway, and then an aha moment or a takeaway. And then here's the thing. That's concept. That don't matter to me. Brandon, I want you to tell me what you plan to do as a result of that takeaway. What are you going to do with that takeaway? What did you learn and what are you going to do with it? That's an excellent question, Brian. Um, the biggest thing honestly, is what you started off with, which was, uh, and that's funny because I put a, a big old star by it, which was you are either producing or you are politicking. Okay. So there's a lot of uh, new people that are in the business, um, but you'll learn as you grow and especially as you are peaking interest or reaching out to folks and trying to expose, as we've been telling you, um, emotions is a big part of it. And it's very easy for you to get caught up in conversations that have nothing to do with your growth, have nothing to do at all with your business, and has nothing to do at all with you going to a whole nother level. That's and right. that's mainly because of where we used to be. It's like the old you and the new, and the new you that is being developed. Um, taking that into consideration, um, being in the business, and especially like uh, Jess said, staying connected, you always have to have a power source on where you're trying to go. 
It's a <clears throat> it's very often that people may have five friends and I'm just using that as an example. And if you're always pouring into them for whatever, being advice for them, being an ear for them, uh, educating them, trying to uplift them, but nobody in your whole group can pour into you, that's a drain. You know what I'm saying? So in this business, you definitely have to have a source that you stay connected to. Staying connected is very, very powerful. And if you guys don't take nothing else, you are either producing, producing. You mean to tell me that during the stimulus discount, we were on it. We were putting people in left and right. You yourself was putting people in left and right. But then when it ends, what happened to the momentum? Right. You are either producing or you're politicking. Okay, freeze. You pay attention freeze. to that. Give me an actionable item. I got you. I got you on the repeat of your point. I want you to give me an action. So as a result of knowing that, what will you now do? It's a at that actually just gave me a whole different mindset change right okay. there. Uh, if, if you could put it in an analogy, it just I just shifted gears. So I just shifted gears in the aspect of now it's strictly producing road instead yeah. of getting caught up in the politicking because you recognize it now. So, gotcha. so moving forward, it's another uh, action and, and reference to focus point of peaking interest and growing and producing. Okay, got gotcha. you. All right. So here, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, let me let me frame this up for you. You ready? Okay. I will not waste time on the phone. I will no longer be a kickstand. Absolutely. That's actionable. Does that make sense? Absolutely. I will no longer be a kickstand. I will not waste time on the phone. So, Brandon, if your aha was either producing or politicking, the actionable item is I will no longer waste my time on the phone talking to reps that ain't talking about producing. Absolutely. Okay. I want everybody to write this down as a quote. You, I'm sorry, everybody is not your assignment. That's why you're tired. Everybody, I, I had to learn that. Now that I had to learn. Everybody's not your assignment. That's why you're tired. One thing about me, you won't drain me for one second. The minute I feel my energy dropping, I'm just gonna get off the phone. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just telling you, I'm, I'm not gonna let you drain me because we all have a choice to make as to whether we want to stay in phase one or whether we want to hit phase five, which is phase out. And you're not going to catch me hiding behind the sweet peas running from you. I'm going to walk through the store with my head up. You ain't got to worry about me dodging you because I'm still in the business. I'm rolling. And if I see you, we still friends. But you wasn't going to train me. And that, guys, let me tell you something. Some people join your business to infect and spread. I'm, I'm telling you what I know. They join the business because they don't have any family or friends. They get with us. They see how cool we are. They see how fly we are. They see how we kick it. You know what I'm saying? They see how we roll. No, I'm just joking. But they get in this and they haven't changed. So they get in this and they want to infect this. Mm -hmm. mm, who Dre think he is? Mm, why he break the record? Mm, why she do? And see, I'm, I'm, I'm nipping all that now because at the root, we need fertilizer. We don't need poison. Now, it wouldn't even my intent to really talk about that today, but it's just important that y'all understand. Don't come in this business with no mess. I'm just being honest with you, because you're gonna get rolled, you're gonna get steamrolled. I'm not talking, I'm not talking to you like I'm a big bad wolf and I'm I'm the um person that can put you out the group. You you your own business. I'm just saying the energy that you bring, you up against an opposing force that you're not gonna be able to stand. Not Brian, the EDM crew, the culture. You won't be able to stand it. You ain't gonna be able to stand it. I don't take politics and drama from nobody. Nobody. Inside the business, outside the business. I don't. I don't. Sideline, nobody. So just be clear when people come into your group, don't let them spread and infect because they're going to hit phase five fast. All right? Let's go. Let's see if I got any questions here. We're about to get into the building and we are done. 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 We're going to start. I'm going to give you five things to duplicate. All right? Any questions in here? Executive producer, y'all give it up. We're going to hold up. We're going to do the wave real quick. We're going to start with Brandon in with Jessica. We're going to say hey to Shana. Y'all ready? Boom. 
Let me get right. Thank Andre Fro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to say what's up to Shana. Shana, if you got any questions out there from the field, pop it up for me on the screen, and I will. Uh, <laughs> Josette said you get steamrolled. Bye. That's right. All right. All right. Okay, good. All right. Let's get into the building phase. So we got the mindset right, okay? Let me make sure I gave you at least a complete. I gave you, we are the root. Am I right, bro? Is that my note? We are the root? We are the root. Two is the five stages of growth and development. I mean, five stages of what? Growth. Of growth, all right? That's mindset. We've been talking about politics the whole time, but for just for the sake of y'all's notes, put three. Uh, poli- uh, production over politics. That's just a good number three. Production over politics. You're either doing one or the other, but you can't do both. Okay, very good. Now, let's, let's build this business. Let's build this business. Let's build this business. This, what I'm about to show you guys, is in your um, um, fast track to AD funnel. Okay. <laughs> Where is my screen? Y'all, hold on one second. Yo, while Brian get that going, a little while ago, Andre Brian made a mistake and, and called you Bert. But I'm going to take that because all he's doing is speaking me into a, a, a district director. I'll take that. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man you, are, you already there, man. I was watching your lives, man, and got super inspired, man. Brian, I tell you, I hate getting on lives. I hate getting on and getting it done, but... You know, watching you, man, come on here, be so natural, doing your thing, man, aspiring leader, man, you definitely motivated me to hop on here and, and just really, I kind of get out of my comfort zone. I appreciate it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I want y'all to write that down. Keep on going. Somebody is being inspired by you. Or keep on going. You are inspiring somebody. Keep on going. You are an inspiration to somebody. You're like, damn, Brian, which one? Any of those. Okay. <laughs> Keep on going. You are an inspiration to somebody. Y'all don't have a clue, man. All of us that are on this Zoom right now, all of us been through what you've been through. We didn't always know training. I couldn't always do these trainings off the top of my head like this and give you frameworks and 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 um deal with politics and drama. And I know how to do all that stuff. Why? Because it's been it's, it's years of experience. But we all have been where you guys are. So all we ask that you do is keep on going because you are an inspiration to somebody. All right, let's break this thing down, man. This is the fast track to AD. Now, whenever I bring a new person in the business, this is what you have to go over with them. I don't care if you do it via Zoom. I don't care if you, you when things open back up and we're in a Super Saturday. I don't care if five or six of you guys are together. They have to download our fast track to AD. You got to do that. Now, there's a fast track to AD video library and there's a fast track to AD packet. All of this, everything I'm showing you and talking about is on how to shift your and then you click on members. How to shift your and then you click on members. Okay? When you click on members, it's going to give you five steps. Step one, become a product of the product. Here go all the maxes. Fill out the upload your upload your credit reports, upload your W-2, I mean your W-4, so that your W-2 can can yes, your job, can get it and HR and all of that. Right? Then here are the things to plug into. It's all in your back office of how to shift your income.com. See, making wealth real financial, their back office is designed for your finances, right? Credit max, money max, my services, my status, my credit reports, my commission check, my e-wallet, my capture page. They're helping you grow the financial part. What we do on HowToShipYourIncome.com, we help you grow your organization, your team, the funnels, the five steps, the text message scripts, right? My job is to provide you with systems to add more money to MWR side, right? So everything I'm talking about is on how to shift your income.com 
and then you click on members. Okay, click on members. Quick text message. This just in. Email on my screen. Herschel Gibbs, out of Phoenix, Arizona, newly promoted area director. Another AD. Y'all on the screen, give me a thumbs up. Y'all out there in internet land, do me a big favor and give Herschel Gibbs a big congratulations for hitting area director yesterday. Y'all give it up for him, man. Great job. Oh, oh, wait. Also, man, let me just say this. LaMarcus Perry. LaMarcus Perry hit last week. La LaMarcus is out of uh, Louisiana. Y'all give it up for LaMarcus Perry. I think LaMarcus may be in his 30s. We got the young crew killing it. Let me give a big congratulations to Lieutenant Colonel Larry Stewart, who just went from 20 a day to 30 a day. I mean, it's so many. It's so many of y'all, man. I'm just giving the people who just hit like in the past couple of days, Herschel just hit, LaMarcus just hit, Gail Andrews, Don Wilson, Cam Flem, Cam Whitfield, these are all ADs, can y'all believe this? Judith Ivory, and Anthony Moore, Michael Woods, Mike Wilkins, and those two promotions led to district director, Andre Russell. Dre, come on back, man. Come on back. Shayna, give, give, give Dre big screen real quick. I want to do this real quick. Dre is a district director. Dre, let everybody know, man, how your start does not determine your finish. When you came in this thing, <laughs> it's so funny, man, because Dre, Dre came in this thing and I had to, I, I pulled his collar for once. I said, hold on, Dre, hold on. You, I've always wanted to work with this guy. Been knowing him for, for at least three years. Knew that he had what it took. He was like, all right, Brian, now this placement thing, I said, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> man, when he had that one conversation, the man is now a district director. He popped three ADs last week. He popped three ADs last week. Dre, congratulations, man. Let everybody know if you get off to a slow start, it's not the end of the world, please. Man, it's not, guys. You know, I didn't even hit my – um. My 30 day bonus. Uh, what, what is it? 30 day momentum bonus. I, I never even hit it. So somebody asked me, like, how do you get paid? How does that work? I said, man, I don't know. I miss mine. <laughs> so <laughs> and, and it's not the end of the world. I was a little, you know, I was a little frustrated when I started building because I was like, man, I could have, you know, had an extra 150, 450 or whatever. But when I got started, you know, like Brian said, the placement thing, you know, I, I came in. I was like, Brian, what are these placements set, man? Hey, look, I'm used to us building and give me a leg. You know, he was like, Nah, Dre, you put in some work and I'll give you a leg. And he said, well, you put in some work. He said, you put in some work and I'll give you a leg. And I said, well, Brian, if you give me a leg, I'll put in some work. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, well, I guess I didn't want us to work there because you didn't get no leg. <laughs> so long story short, here I am thinking I'm bigger than what I am. Like, I'm Dre Russell. He's like, well, I'm Brian B. <laughs> so. Anyway, long story short, I didn't build a thing for about two months, and I looked up, man. People were crushing it, hitting senior director, area director. Man, they were killing the thing, and I was like, man, you know, what's going on? I need to get busy. I need to really look at this thing and get moving. And so it was about January where I really took – I reached out to Brian. I said, man, Brian, you know what? I want to build this thing. I want to get serious. I want to take it serious. He said, Dre, man, if you're ready to work, let's do it. I got you. I'm going to come down to Charlotte. And, you know, within a week, you know, I was like, I was getting the team together. He said, I'll be in Charlotte next week. Are you ready? I said, next week? I just said, today we was going to start building. He said, nah, Dre, we got to go. We got to build this momentum right now. So in a week, man, he was in Charlotte. And, you know, I plugged some of the team in. You know, they got to meet Brian, man. And, you know, from there, they took it, they took it away. It took, it took what, two, two and a half months before we really got started moving. And yep. now we have several people on the team hitting their momentum bonus because they're getting started right away. But, nice, you know, it took me a minute, you know, and, and, and I appreciate that tough love because I'll tell you what, Brian, um, you know, getting out there, getting out the mud and grinding for it, you know, it feels so good, you know, um, that, that you did do that and, and that you did, you know, make me push and work for myself because, you know, maybe if I was, if, if you would have, you know, gave me that leg, I may not have taken it serious. So I do appreciate you. No, no doubt, man. I knew, I knew you had what it took, man. I was like, look, I'm going to help you, but I'm going to show you how to 
fish instead of giving you the fish. And man, you deserve everything you get, man. And hey, look, now you district now, so you know the work begins now, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> it work. It begins now, man. So Andre's guys got off to a slow start. We had a gentleman in the room down in Charlotte, like, man, I don't like no marketing. I'm in, but I really don't like talking to people. He about to hit area. Am I right? He's senior. He's senior now. As as a, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, since you say that the slow start, both of two, one of my areas actually is one of those guys, Marquise. He got off to a slow start. I kept saying, "Hey, get that one, get that one person, and we can get you going." And he said, "Man, I get around to it. I get it. I get it when I get it." And so he ended up being placed. So he was he was actually not the senior director that got me to AD, mm. and then Lamont was not the senior director that got me to AD. But both of those guys are Marquise just hit AD, and Lamont will be AD probably in the next few days. So you know they got off to a slow start, but here they are, you know, running it up. Now they see the vision and, and, and it's over. So if I heard what you said, they weren't the senior directors who got you to AD, but they are a large part of what got you to district. Actually, three of the three of the senior directors that got me to area, two of them didn't hit areas. <laughs> so somebody, somebody on their team hit area to get me to district. Ain't that crazy? Yep. I want you to write this down, man, before I give you this funnel. The power of one. I want y'all to hear what he just said. His seniors did not, uh, maybe one of them hit area, but two of the seniors that got him the area are not the same areas that got him the district. I told everybody that when I first joined, the people who get you to the next position won't always be the person that, the people who get you to the following, the next position after that, they won't. If this thing changes, you start seeing new growth and new focus it changes. Now, to all you guys that are brand new, we may be talking over your head a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to bring it all down. Write down the power of one. Now, let me show you what I mean. I want you to write the following numbers going down under each other, right? Going down under each other. Two, under two, four, under four, eight. So we're multiplying everything by two. We're going all the way to 64, just so you know. Two, four, eight. 16, 32, 64, going straight down. Now, next to that equation, write down three. Now we're going everything by three. Three, nine, 27, 81, 243, 2,187. Again, three, nine, 27, 81, 243, 21, So you got two columns. The difference between 64 people and 2,187 people is one. Everybody got one more person. Everybody got one more person. That's why I'm telling you guys, don't never, never stop running because you're inspiring somebody. Now, Here's the key to this equation. The one also could be the one person that's so negative and holding you back that is keeping you from the 2187. That's why you're over here with the 64, because you keep dealing with that client. See, the power of one, guys, it swings both ways. Everybody going to either get one more person or you can keep being with the political folks and everybody losing one person. So you can end up with 64 people or 2,187 people. Either way, the power is in one. All of us had to get our first sign up. All of us. So let's close with this training. All right. Let me bring up the. Uh, let me bring up the slide here again, Shay. Now, here's how this works. Again, it's on the fast track to AD. On how to shift your income.com. You click on members. And you just go through your steps. It amazes me how many new people. Brian, I'm ready to get trained. Brian, I'm ready to be focused. Brian, I've always wanted to be mentored by you. I say, okay, look, within the next 24 hours, go download this packet. I'll call you back the next day. You got the packet in front of you? You ready to go over it? Man, I ain't even got to it yet. We ain't got no printer here at the house. Oh, okay. See, people don't understand, man. 
I'm gonna give you a strong quote that changed my life. You can be a failure with legitimate excuses. Now let that say that again for the people in the back. You can be a failure with legitimate excuses. See? So I don't have no printer. Okay. That's 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 a legitimate excuse. I can't afford the ink in it. Okay. That's a legitimate excuse. Let me ask you a question. Does Kinko's have a printer? Does your local library have a printer? And a, in, in your library card free? Does Staples have a printer? Does FedEx have a printer? See, does Office Max have a printer? Or Office Depot or whichever one's still in business? They, don't, don't they have a printer? Does your job have a printer? Does a friend have a printer? See, one thing about me, I promise you, when I didn't have a dime, I was the most resourceful, broke person you knew. I was going to make something work. If I had to go and cut my cable bill for two months just to come up with the $140 I need to buy a printer, then I got to cut cable for two months because I was focused, you see? And I talk about these things in your video library. How to shift your income.com members, I was focused. So you can be a failure with some really legitimate excuses, just so you know. Or you can say, you know what? There's no excuse. I'm going to the top. I will hit my next position. I'm going to find some people that's hungry. I'm going to stop wasting my time. I'm going to get wealthy. That's what I said. I will be wealthy. Now, I'm not wealthy yet, but I've never had to work for anybody ever again. Ever. Ever. I've never had to work for anybody ever again. So that's a good start on my way to some serious Brian House wealth. Okay? Now, this funnel is set up on your fast track and it's psychological and practical at the same time. What you want to learn, guys, is that uh, this whole business is a production funnel or we call it your production pipeline. You want to hurry up and schedule what's called your triple double with your upline today. Write that down. I must schedule my triple double. You got to schedule your triple double. Now, Bert, how important is the triple-double? First of all, tell everybody what it means, what it represents. What's the triple-double? I'm brand new, Bert. I'm a QFD. What do I need to do today? All right, so the triple-double. Uh, I got some feedback. You okay. All right. So the triple-double represents we are doing cash flow calls. Our I mean, web webinars, we want to do two of each one of these. So we got three actions we want to take. We want to do all three actions two times. So a three. cash flow call. Yep. Wealth webinar. Yep. And your profit parties. That's it. Now, we all know we're under quarantine, so the profit party is not the most popular thing in the world, right? So what we want to do is we're going to split it up and maybe do three and three just for now. Do three conference calls and do three webinars. <coughs> Excuse me. We can't, we can't meet right now and have people at your house and all that stuff, right? But it's okay. You can make money or excuses, but you can't make both. So right now, we're doing two uh, double triples, okay? <laughs> we're doing, what is that? We're doing double triples or whatever. We're doing two things three times. If you're brand new, schedule three conference calls on your calendar and schedule three webinars. Now, what you want to do is you want to stagger them. Write this down. You want to stagger them. So that means you might do a conference call on Sunday, and you might want to do a webinar on Tuesday. Don't do, Brian, I got a conference call Wednesday and a conference call Thursday. That's not, that's not staggering them. Do one of each so that you can get people off this one, the conference call, and on to this one, the webinar. New people, listen, when you hang up, you have to call your upline and say, I'm ready to do my double triple. They're going to get the calendar out. We're going to go ahead and schedule your first two events. Not all six. Not all six. We're going to do two of them now. Your first conference call, your first webinar. Other people from the team can plug into your stuff, okay? Because you want it, you don't want it to be where you're on the Zoom and it's just you and your two friends. If we plug in and bring you 18 people, 
your friends like, man, this is pretty cool. Everybody on there looking like the Brady Bunch. You know, we all up in the corner and um, we, we helping you with the energy. We got testimonies. We're going to unmute and do the Zoom. Everybody needs to have your free conference call line, your own. Don't you call your upline tomorrow. Now, which number are we using? It's free. You are in business. You got to get yours from freeconferencecall.com. See, this, this is how I check people. This is how I see if you're serious. You got your conference call number? Oh, no. See, I got uh, T-Mobile and uh, conference calls cost. Okay, well, let's find a workaround. Let's find a workaround. What's the problem? How about you call your friend who got Sprint on three-way and they call into the number? See, I don't, I don't listen to all them excuses. I don't, and I don't, I don't take all these excuses. Uh, I, uh, I ain't on Facebook. I hate social media. Well, the rest of us are on Facebook. Now, I'm not saying you got to get on Facebook and, and interact with people. I'm saying, I told, I told a young lady this other day. I don't care if I'm your only friend. Me, you, and Zuckerberg. I can't train you if you're not on Facebook. Because the rest of the team is on Facebook. So I'm going to have to make an exception for you, Stacey. To get you on the own, your own training, because you won't get the gray avatar with the little hair and just create a ghost account just so you can see me do these trainings. I can't do it. I can't do it, Stacey. And what some of y'all would have did, all right, Brian, now she ain't on Facebook. What do we do? She need to get her ass on Facebook. That's what that's what she's gonna do. We you we can't bring the masses to, to Stacey. Mm-hmm. Well, I had look, Bert, this reason. I had some complications in my last relationship and we decided decided as a couple we wasn't going to get on Facebook. (laughs) I said, Stacey, I'm not asking you to engage on Facebook. I'm telling you, you need to get on Facebook and get in the EDM group and be in my little chat where I talk to my front line every day. That's what I need you to do. Okay, now I can do that. Okay, yeah, because some of that old stuff keeping you from getting rich over here. You see? So what I'm saying to you guys is everybody need a Zoom account, your own, and everybody need preconferencecall.com, your own. When I call you and say, what's your Zoom number? I'm ready to go live with you. What's your Zoom link, right? What's your conference call number? We're doing a conference call tomorrow. Oh, I, I ain't set that up yet. I understand. And I don't lose no respect for you. I don't. I promise you I don't. I'm not judgmental. I'm just like, man, don't you understand? This is why most people don't succeed. They don't do what they're supposed to do. They don't, they're not even prepared for success. The universe can't even give you no, no prospects. The universe can't even reward you with no momentum. right? MWR can't even cut you a check because you're not prepared. I can't do your business on my conference call line. I can, but I'm not. You got to get your own free line with your PIN code. You got to get your own Zoom account. Hey, Brian, uh, that's that's $19. I tell you what, if you don't like $19, let's open up a McDonald's and see, let's, let's try that business instead. If you don't like $19 from home while everybody quarantined, I tell you what, let's do a dry cleaner, a nail salon, a barbershop, a daycare, a lawn care business, a real estate company. You know, let's open up a retail store. Let's see if you like those fees. See, I want y'all to put this in your notes. Stop comparing the business to itself. Stop comparing the business to itself. Let me tell you what I mean by that. All right, we already doing the 119. I got to add 19. See, you comparing the business to itself. You comparing the business to itself. First of all, Bert, correct me if I'm wrong. Is there a free Zoom level? Is there a level where it's free? Absolutely. Okay, so they can start there, right? Okay. Now I'm on the one that costs 104 per month. I think they got a, a free, a 19, and they got a 50, and they got a 104, right? Because I need to be able to talk to way more people. The free one can't do webinars. I think the free one can do meetings. They're little things you can do. My point is, let's say it wasn't free, Bert. Let's just say it was 19. Stop comparing the business to itself. You had 119 plus 19, you had $138 a month for your business. Now, compare that to any other business and tell me if the $19 a month on Zoom is worth you doing some webinars. 
Bro, you know what amazed me about people? What's that? The $19 can bring you a daily pay because you're doing webinars, right? So you might get up to the $30 a day for the $19. But they don't look at it like, oh, wait a minute, the $19 could bring me $50 overrides for the rest of my life. They compare the business to what? Itself. Itself. Instead of comparing the business to other things that you got that you could be doing and saying, oh, wait a minute, this, this 119 plus 19 ain't bad. You see, it's a home based business. I want y'all to write this down. A home based business is not expense free. Okay? That's why we're using your existing bills. A home based business is not expense free. Y'all should see me. Look, I'm, I'm tired of playing with you. Look. I got a little tripod right here. All right, Shana, pull me up real quick. I got this tripod right here that I use for my um, Facebook Lives. I got hard drive after hard drive after hard drive after hard drive. This stuff stays near me for all the recordings we do. So hard drives and videos all day. I got a clicker for the theater upstairs. This is my clicker. So when we do PowerPoint presentations upstairs, y'all y'all see me do that one day where I'm in the movie theater and we're going to train you on the theater upstairs. I'm working on my light. I got a microphone that I hook up to the camera so you can hear me clear. Then I got the, I got the receiver. Then I got the microphone that I put right here when I'm in the bigger rooms so y'all can hear me. I got the trainings I did a long time ago on CD when I was 20, 30 years old when streaming wasn't even popular, but I keep the trainers around because this information I'm giving y'all is timeless. I got the Mevo, which cost me $299. I got the Mevo right here so that I can do a Zoom on Facebook, stream it, and Zoom to my YouTube 26,000 subscribers. People wonder why I get so many people because I've been building my following. I'm prepared. Oh, let's not forget. Let's bring in the, the tripod and stand here. Yeah. What's this, Brian? Oh, this is another Mevo on top of this Mevo because I love investing in my business so that I can teach my son how to film me from one angle while I film myself from the other angle. So I got two Mevos. Oh, oh my goodness. What's this? This is the lighting system that I bought because I happen to be a dark skin chocolate brother. So I need more light than the average person, you know? So I had to go buy a whole light system with a whole light stand with a whole light pole. Oh my goodness. What's that? That's the tripod I use when I'm upstairs in the movie theater. So I can show y'all how to build your own business. Oh my goodness. There's a tripod. Oh my goodness, there's a lighting system. Oh my goodness, there's my cell phone. Oh my goodness, there are my tools on the table. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, Brian, how you hit regional director? Easy. This business costs more than $19. No, no, now I can't be, I can't be in, you know, investing. Okay, well, you don't want to get rich. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I keep a couple of tools with me. Oh, Brian, what's this? Oh, well, just, I don't know, years and years and years and years. I'll tell y'all a funny story. In years and years and years. Oh, I'm sorry, more hard drives and years. Oh, I'm sorry. And years and years and years of training. Yeah. Now pull everybody back up for me a second. I'm about to make y'all laugh. I'm, this, is, this is a true story. Y'all ain't gonna believe this, but it's true. When that tornado hit the other day in Atlanta, I did just like this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they gonna find you sprawled out on the other side of the street with all your life belongings on. 
all your life lessons. Hey, he went out with all of his uh lessons with him. Let me tell you something. You can take you the give me this book bag and a tornado. If they don't take, if I don't fly in that tornado, these trainers. <laughs> <laughs> I am not exaggerating. This coming in the closet with me. If I die, the train is coming and this thing gonna live forever. Y'all just make sure y'all get this book bag and we're gonna keep on rolling. I will not be blown away in the wind like Dorothy and Toto without my book bag. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Now that's a true story. Okay. <laughs> Brandon, what was I? <laughs> oh. Where was I? The final. Triple doubles, right? Yes. All right. So three and three. We're doing double triples now, right? We're doing everything three times. Am I right? Yes. I got double triples. Double triples. Right. Double triples. All right. Let's get out of here. So we got a schedule. We got to put new people on your calendar. Write this down in the notes. My calendar controls my day. My calendar controls my money. If your calendar is blank, you can't build a business. You have to always know what is coming next. You see, so my conference call is coming up next Tuesday, and then I got a webinar coming up that Thursday. So we promoting for two events. Write that in your notes. You always promote for two events, guys, not one. I'm about to tell you how to get wealthy now. I'm telling you. You never say, can you get on my conference call tomorrow night? You say, hey, listen, is tomorrow night better for you or is Thursday at, at three better for you? Which one of those two events can you make? A person is trained to pick from the two options. You want steak or you want lobster? You want McDonald's or you want Burger King? We're trained to pick one of the solutions that have been put before us. Did I mess up? Okay. okay, so we're trained to do that. So when you train to pick options and you know that, then you got to ask people, which one of these two options they want. I'll get to that in a second, but just know, you gotta get your twos, free conference call, free Zoom account, so that we can run your double triple. Now, 50 people are gonna get peaked. You're gonna peak 50 people. Now, I need to clear this up, because y'all think social media and, and watch parties are the business. That's not the business. I need 50 people to hear your voice. Write that down. I need 50 people to hear your voice. 50. That means you have peaked 50 prospects. That's what you see at the top of this funnel. 50 prospects got to go in, Bert, because you got to have large numbers. Okay? Dre, what happens if you start out small? In other words, instead of you peaking 50, you're going to set yourself up for success and you talk to seven immediately what's my outcome man you might not see any success and it'll get you discouraged why so why would not i see any success uh well you got to figure out your ratio you gotta you gotta know your numbers so if you only talk to seven people but let's say let's say your ratio is for every 10 people you you talk to you get one to sign up but you talk to seven people and you didn't even make it to that 10 yet <laughs> to get one sign up but you feel like you just talked to a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> and so a lot like nobody wants to do it nobody nobody's in and that'll get you discouraged real fast so you definitely gotta you know build the numbers up so you can get to know your ratio and figure out you know um where you're good at where your strengths and weaknesses are very good now you're training dre now we're training there you go i always tell people the why never give people the what without giving them the why so what is it we got to give them 50 people why because the law of averages and the law of a ratio states that if you do something long enough, a ratio will eventually show up. Does that make sense? If you do something long enough, a ratio will eventually appear. So when that ratio shows up, like Dre said, oh man, I'm 10 to one. Okay, at this rate, I'll be 20 and two. I'll be 30 and three. I'll be 40 and four. Okay, but what happens, what people don't understand, your ratio gets better over what? Over time. Oh. See, pretty soon you'll be one for four. You're like, shoot, now I get two every eight. See, I get three every 12. I get four every 16. You used to get four every 40. See, so you're getting better. Now, a lot of you guys saying, Brian, I don't know 50 people. Look, you know 50 people. What you're doing is you're thinking about the people who you want to call. 
You're thinking about the people who you think would do it. You're thinking about the people you're not afraid to call. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to think of 10 different categories and I want you to write down five names in each category. I'm telling you how to become a beast. We're not playing small time here. We are the root. This is how you, this is how you become a beast. Five friends, five coworkers. I'm going to give you the categories, right? I'm just going to give you some categories and just know it's five in each one. Church members, friends, associates. That's two different things now. Friends you talk to a lot. Associates you talk to every now and then. Five from Facebook. Five from your significant other. Their friends. Five neighbors or people. I say five people in the community because I, I don't know if I know five of my neighbors. Actually, I do. But five people from the community. Right. Then you start breaking it down. Five people I know with a part time job. Five people I know who are retired. Five people I know who are single. Five people I know who are married. Now, a lot of this is going to overlap because one, one of the individuals you know that's married is also your neighbor. So it's going to overlap. But what it's doing, this technique is called grouping. Instead of you going, Bob, Sally, Bill, you're going to run out quick because you're, you're thinking of names. And what you should be thinking about are categories of people. You see the difference? You got to think about categories. Now, in your back office of the how to ship your income.com website, when you click on members, I give you a free video library that you can purchase. I mean, order. I'm sorry, a free that you can purchase. <laughs> I give you a free video library that you can order from my website. I, I have a, a whole online training university. So I put up this free product for MWR uh, reps only where now you can go in and get all my mindset videos, or not all of them, but at least 10 of them. I have like 90 of them. So you get 10. And then you can get my um, how to build, my training videos on how to build, right? All these hard drives, these are full of 20 years of experience. So I give you all a lot of that stuff for free. There's a video in there where I talk about this funnel, where I break it down and I tell a joke. I get five white people, five black people. Five Asian people, five people with short hair, five people with tall hair, five people with no hair, five people over six feet, five people under six feet. Like I tell a joke, I don't care what the category is, race, color, creed, height, gender, um, five from the States, five that are not from the States, five who got fired, five who got hired. And I just tell a joke, every category you think of, think of five people. Five people with real hair, five people with no hair, five people with fake hair, I don't care, right? It doesn't matter. Five people. Capiche? Now you got your 50 that will eventually hear your voice. You are inviting those 50 to one of how many options, Jess? How many options do we give them? A cash flow conference call. At least two. There you go. A cash flow conference call or a webinar. Now, this is what you get with your teammates and y'all come together. You don't have to have an individual one where you, you work your upline to death because you need one, and then Kim need one, and then Steven need one. Y'all can do Kim's, yours, and Steven's all on Tuesday night. You, you see what I'm saying, uplines? All you guys out there that are executive directors and senior directors, you're not doing one of these per person. It, that's impossible. But you holding people accountable for at least scheduling theirs on that night in conjunction with maybe two or three other reps. So we all on there. And now you, all your new people have at least two events to promote for at least two. Now, Brian, what do I say to them? Here's the key. Now that we got 50 prospects, they going into a funnel. We know off the top, only 15 are going to show up. We know that. Now, I'm going to teach you on another training, not today, how to improve that ratio, but only 15 are going to show up. That's why we call this 50, 15, 5. Now, everybody hold up. How many fingers does it take to hit the top of this compensation plan? How many people does it take to hit regional for you to hit national? Boom. Boom. How many? Uh, 
Brandon? Three. So we on track if we sponsor five. You see what I'm saying? That's why I stay in my database. I stay on my YouTube channel. I'm constantly sponsoring new people. Everybody I sponsor from here on out, basically strangers. They're going to become some of my best friends. Me and Trevor Martin talk every day. Trevor, my man, Trevor done brought, I don't know how many people Trevor, I've lost count up in Jersey. Me and Trevor talk every day. We becoming my best friend. He, he going to be my best friend. <laughs> the way he hit, the way he bringing people in, I'm like, hey, Trevor, what you doing? Hey, man, I'm just using the text messages, using the scripts. I'm like, let's go. He just hit SD, he on his way to ED. I mean, AD. Right? Me and Bert. Hey, Bert, what's your name? All right, cool. How many we need for this day? How's she coming? All right, let's place him here. Let's do that. We talk. You got to develop the same relationship with your people. I can't talk to everybody. It's impossible. But I take care of what's called my talented tent. Y'all write that down. Just take care of your talented tent. The talented tent are the people that are busy building. They working. Right? Everybody has a group of talented tent. Hey, Lenora, what you need? What we doing today? Hey, what you need over here? Why don't we do a conference call for you on Sunday? Get that new person on the call. We got to work as a group. This comp plan is called a stair step. That means it's contingent upon you helping some people. Not getting mad at them. Not tripping if they're not moving at your speed. But you helping people at the rate that they want to go. So you can't say, you ain't got no conference call. Brian said, put on the calendar. No, they just not, they don't want to move at that speed. That's okay. Hey, Brian, I can't do my conference call, man, until um, July 15th. I'm busy through July 15th. Hey, no cool. Hey, you know what I say? Hey, no problem. July 15th worked for me. I said to myself, shh. <laughs> I see you July. I see you July. 15th. I don't tell you what I really say, but I say, hey, I see you July 15th. What you gonna do? Make her have it? No, I see you July 15th. I got plenty of people doing them tomorrow. So July 15th works for me. I know she ain't gonna be around, but that's her business, not mine. Okay? Now, we peak them. We're gonna get out of here in 15 minutes. We're done. Here's how we peak them. Write this down. Peak, pass, and then I added this, and edify. Peak, pass, and edify. Peak, pass, and edify. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. The person who gets great at piquing a person's interest, getting them off of you, and edifying another person, place, or thing is the person that's going to make the most money. The person who gets good at peaking, passing them away from you, edifying something else, and getting them to another tool is going to make the most money. Now, Bert, what do you find is the key to peaking interest? Is it talking a lot and telling them everything you know? Oh, not at all. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of time just talking and and and, and wasting wasting your time. Right. Okay. Wait. Hold on, Bert. Something's changed. Somebody has done something different. Any, did any of you guys turn the screen on? I was thinking anything. Or turn on the cell phone. Everybody turn your speakers down to like maybe the mid midway mark on you. Okay. Bert, say something else. Count to 10 for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. Okay. So Bert, why don't we why don't we want to say too much? Why why shouldn't I tell them everything I got? I'm excited. I know my information. I'm new. Why can't I do that? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's not our job. We have systems set up in place to do that for us. So, I mean, our job is to pique their interest, to pass them on, and then edify whatever that system is or whatever that person is that's going to then take them to the next level. Very good. Now, Bert, what's the consequence? I always teach people the consequence. What's the consequence of me doing it my way? I hear you, Bert. I hear you. We got a system. But see, that's y'all system. And y'all know... Y'all don't know my people. You know, Bert, they love that, right? Y'all mm -hmm. don't know my people. Like, like we don't know people. But y'all don't know my people. See, when yeah. I talk to my people, they got to hear from me. Bert, what's my consequence of not doing the system? Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest consequences is if you are spending 
all day on the phone explaining something to someone to that prospect, they're going to assume that now that's what I'm required to do is spend all of my time on the phone trying to explain this to someone. And this could definitely turn them off to the business. There you go. There you go. So the consequence is, guys, what he's saying is if you do it your way and it may not look the easiest way, then that person saying, man, I can't I can't be hustling like you, man. You you hustling because they don't realize you misrepresented the business. So the reason we say peak them and pass them and edify is so that they'll see that a video did the work, a Zoom did the work, right? The webinar, the conference call did the work. Monday night, uh, I mean, um, Thursday night Wealth Max showed you how Wealth Max works. You see, let the tools do the work. New people, write this down. If you're a new, be new. If you're new, be new. We just need 15 people to get to an effective presentation. Now, I'm going to update these for more, more of a quarantine version, but here's what I want you to do. Then here's how you peak interest. New people, write this down. Ask questions. Ask questions. When you put up a Facebook post, you have to ask a question. And then you have to say, comment below. If you see us do it a lot, we'll say, who is interested in finding out how to get a daily stimulus check instead of monthly from the government? Comment stimulus check, comment daily check below. You see, you always want to ask a question and then give a command. Ask a question and then give a command. Ask a question and then give a command. I'm going to role play with you real quick. Dre, come off mute. You ready? Yes, sir. All right. Dre. Hey, what's going on, Brian? Hey, everything good, man. Do me a favor. Turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. We got something to talk about. Okay, what's up? Dre, if it was up to you right now, let me ask you a question because I got something for you. If it was up to you right now, how would you change this whole social distancing thing where everybody working from home? What would you do to loosen up this economy if you had your way? What would I do? Mm -hmm. We role playing. We role playing. <laughs> man, I don't have a clue, Brian. Honestly, man, I, I'm just ready to get out and, and see some people and do some things. I'm just tired of being cooped up in the house. I, hey, man, you know what? I know exactly how you feel. I felt the exact same way. But you know what I found out, Dre? What's that? Now, I want y'all to hear, hear me. I know how you feel. I felt the exact same way. But you know what I found out, Dre? Now, Bert, that's my, I'm on question number what? At least what? Three. Three. I'm probably on my third question, right? I asked him to turn the TV down. I asked him, that ain't a question, but I asked him what would he do if he could change his situation. Am I right? So, Dre, when I'm asking you questions, I'm gathering what? Information. Information. Dre, I know how you feel. I felt the exact same way. But you know what I found out? We can come out of this quarantine better than we went in if everybody just made some money. And Dre, guess where they got to make the money from? Where? I want you to guess. Can't go nowhere. It must be, you gotta, the only place you make the money from is home. Why are you going to do that? <laughs> See what some of y'all would have done when he said where? You would have answered. I asked you where. See, I want the person to listen to me. But I can't gather the information if I don't ask him questions. He just told me he's sick of being at home. So if, because I'm a good listener, if he's sick of being at home, I got a way where he can love being at home and make money doing it. Does everyone hear that? You have to ask questions. Watch this. Dre, you ever heard of Zoom? Nah, nah, what's that? Okay, that's like question number what, Bert? At least four or five, am I right? Yep, about five. About five at least. Zoom. Dre, you never heard of Zoom? Don't count that one. That's a repeat, right? <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of Zoom? Oh, man, it's a technology, basically, where we have a platform. And we can basically talk like this. You've heard of Skype, right? Yeah, yeah, I know what Skype is. Okay, you've heard of FaceTime? Yep. Okay, Zoom is like the moneymaker of FaceTime. 
the money maker of FaceTime. Watch. If y'all notice, Jessica, what did I do? When I said it, I shut my mouth. Write this down, guys. I'm giving y'all some game today now. Use uncomfortable silence. Use uncomfortable silence. The first person who speaks loses. It's called uncomfortable silence. So when I call Dre, I'm letting him arm me with all the answers. One more time. Dre, you never heard of Zoom? Nah, I never heard of it. Okay, let me ask you this. You've heard of FaceTime, right? Yep. You've heard of Skype? Heard, I definitely heard of Skype before. Okay, Zoom is like FaceTime and Skype, but with a moneymaker. Okay. Money maker. See how I don't see y'all. Y'all see how I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I want him to say money maker. Now that gives me a reason to come back. Now this takes time. This takes practice. I'm just telling y'all how my conversations go. Right? Dre, it's a money maker. Think about it. Everybody's at home. We're using stuff like FaceTime to see our kids or our family, but we should be using Zoom to make money, shouldn't we? I think so. Yeah, I like, I like the comment that so far. Now, Dre, what's the number one thing people lack when the economy is not flowing? The number one thing people lack? You yep. have to say money? Money. We're going to tie the Zoom together with the home-based business, with the money, and make a solution while we're at home. Dre, do me a favor. Are you free at 1 o'clock today or 7 o'clock tonight? Which time is best for you for me to call you back? I need you to see something. Uh, I got some, some things I got to take care of from the house at uh, 7 o'clock at night school. Okay. I'm going to hit you with a link. I'm going to call you back at 7 o'clock tonight, but I'm going to have somebody with me that can explain to you how we're making money from home using Zoom and providing the same and providing these solutions for other people. But I need you to watch this link first, and I'm going to call you at 7. Put that in ink, not pencil. Okay. I got you. Yes, sir. No, Dre, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Can you put it in concrete instead? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I definitely put it in some concrete. I'm out right, cool. here. Bert, that's probably my ninth question. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. See, y'all don't understand. Ask Dre questions so you won't be selling. Write this down. The more you say, the less they pay. The more you say, the less they pay. Now we're gonna end tonight, we're gonna end today's session with this. The keywords I'm using these days are daily stimulus. That's a buzz. Daily stimulus check. Social distancing. We're turning all these things into a positive. You see, y'all gotta put a, a, a negative a negative term that's going on right now, if you flip it to a positive, people will listen because they used to stimulus check, social distancing, we quarantine. See, I'm using those same words, but from the solution side. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, Dre, listen, I'm with a multi-million dollar uh, gentleman. We're growing a billion dollar company in a trillion dollar industry. Y'all heard my three words? Million, billion, trillion. Dre, does any of those sound good to you? Man, all of it. I need you to put the appointment in concrete. You did that, didn't you? Yes, sir. I got it, I got it right here. In my, I, just, I just booked it in my calendar. Okay, did you throw the pencil away? Throw it away. Bert, that's two more questions, isn't it? Yep, you're at like 12 now. <laughs> Now, Bert, does it feel like an interview, though, or does it feel like I'm just serious about my confirmation? Ah, uh, sounds like you're serious. Okay. Guys, the more you say, the less they pay. Now, you book and lock down the two appointments, guys. It's two appointments. He can pick your 1 o'clock conference call or your 7 o'clock webinar. He can pick the conference call you got tomorrow or the webinar you have tonight. You don't care what he picked. When you pick up the phone, you just got to have two things that you're bringing him to. Watch this. Dre, ask me what is it. Say, what is it about, Brian? Give me some more information. 
Yeah, yeah. So before you go, Brian, man, can you just tell me a little bit more about it? What, what, what you got going on? Hey, Trey, listen. The magnitude of this opportunity cannot be expressed via phone. Y'all write that down. The magnitude of this opportunity cannot be expressed via the phone. Now, you already put it in concrete, so we can't go back with can't we? Right. See? I had him book it first. Now he's trying to lock me into a conversation. Andre, I'm not being funny, but the only reason I say that, I got some more people that having the same challenges that me and you having, and I got to get them on the 7 o'clock webinar tonight that you're going to be on. So trust me, it'll all make sense at 7, but just know we're solving a lot of the current issues and problems right now, and I'll see you guys at 7. Then I'm going to call you, remember, with somebody more important and my, more um, experienced than myself that's really going to break it down. So I got to call these people, but I promise you I got you covered, okay? Yes, sir. I see, y'all ever heard this statement? Study long, study wrong. Some of y'all stay on the phone with your prospects so long that they start feeling important. Uh -huh. Aha moment, Brandon. <laughs> Absolutely. Brandon, that one. <laughs> yes. When you on the phone with your prospect for 30 minutes, now they feel like you need them. Shoot, y'all been talking for 30 minutes. See, I let, let me tell you something. I let my prospects know you ain't the only one, bro. You need to know that. I'm telling you. Hey, you're not the only one, man. I got people lined up. I, I'll see you at seven. That's why we put it in concrete because the magnitude of this opportunity cannot be expressed via the phone. Guys, I do the same thing on Facebook. The magnitude of this opportunity in my chats cannot be expressed via messenger. The magnitude of this opportunity cannot be expressed via text messaging. We have to get our 50 people on the what? On the phone. On, on the, the phone. phone. On, on, the, on phone. the phone. Because text message, messenger, these things cannot depict your pitch and tone. You see the difference? When you hear my voice, see, see, Dre hear me a little different now. Hey, Dre, turn the TV down, man. If you could change this whole so social distancing thing and pandemic and this whole um, quarantine, what do you think is the solution? He's going to tell me. Man, do you know we, had, we got a home-based business opportunity? We're working with a multimillionaire in a billion-dollar home-based business industry in a, tr I mean, company, in a, I'm sorry, a multimillionaire in a billion-dollar home-based business industry and a trillion-dollar economy. And guess what? We the first individuals on the front edge of showing people how to use technology and money to start a home-based business. Pull out a pen, not pencil. Dre, no, let's do, uh, Brandon, which one is best for you? You cool at 4.30 today via a conference call, or can you do 2.30 tomorrow on a webinar? Uh, 4.30 today will be okay. Okay, perfect. Throw away your pencil, because I don't need you to erase this. I want you to put this in pen, you ready? Yes. Now, better yet, Brandon, let's put this in concrete. Okay, I got you. All right. You know concrete can't be erased, right? That's exactly right. right. Because I got somebody I, I'm playing, but I got somebody I want you to talk to. And, and his time is very valuable, and we're going to put it in concrete. So I'm going to lock you in to talk to him around that time as well. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Listen, Brandon, I know I didn't say a whole lot. I got some more people that I do have to call, okay, because you're not the only one. I'm not the only one going through this quarantine. So let's help a lot of people, and I'll, call, I'll actually see you at 7. Is that cool? You sure? All right, cool. Hey, Brandon, let me ask you a question. Yes. Are you excited? I am. I am. I don't know what I'm excited about. You don't even know what it is, do you? No, I don't. But you trust me, don't you? Yeah, I do. I haven't led you wrong before, have I? No, no. And it's in concrete, not pencil, isn't it? Yeah, I got it right here. Click. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> right. So y'all see, Bert, that was what, 92 questions? Yeah, I think like 112. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Let's say some questions, man. We're just going to go through one through three because right now, that's what I want y'all to master. It's 2 o'clock. I'm going to get out of here and go to the bar. Then I'm going to go to the sports bar. Then I think I got some tickets to the uh, Hawks game. And I'm going to go down here and, and celebrate. And I'm going to go all over town. Oh, my fault. It's my birthday. Um, I, wanna, I want y'all to master one through three. Prospect. Peek them with a series of what? Questions. Questions control the conversation. 
You slowly reel them in. You provide a solution to the problem that you asked them about. And then you're going to put them on one of your next two webinars. One of your next two conference calls. One of your next two scheduled events. The calendar runs your day, new people. The calendar runs your day. Now, if you're not having something, then some of your colleagues are. Then we always have a Tuesday night conference call. We have a, always have a Wednesday night webinar. So you're always lacing people in between your events and our events, and your events and our events. I'm having the next event, guys, tomorrow for EDs only in the ED group on Facebook. Okay, if you're an executive director, I need all my seniors and above, make sure you pull your executive directors into our ED group. EDs will be given a Zoom link. I'm doing a special training just for EDs tomorrow at 930. Then Monday, what am I doing? Wait, Shannon, help me out. What am I doing? If you can, you can come on or come on microphone. Is my, when, is my, when is my leadership, Sunday or Monday? I forgot my own schedule. There she is. Sorry, technical difficulties. Can you hear me? I can hear you. When am I speaking to the EDs? Tomorrow at 9.30. Okay, that's Sunday. Now, what's Monday? Anything? Nothing on Monday. Tuesday is the regular cash flow call at 9.25, and we're doing a wealth webinar watch party um, on Wednesday at 9.25. That's right, because Monday is corporate. That's right. Okay. So tomorrow I'm, I'm training EDs only on how to hit senior. It'll be a special link. Monday is our regular corporate call. They'll send you the text message. That corporate call on Mondays, guys, that's not for new people. All right, that's for people that are in the business. That's only for people that are in the business. Now Thursday corporate, it cool. Thursday's cool because it's more of a wealth match that new people need to understand. But Monday's usually like more of a training. Don't put new people on the corporate Monday call. That's not an overview. That's a training for in-house. Tuesday, I do a conference call every Tuesday, and Wednesdays, I do a webinar every Wednesday. But in between, you lacing in your stuff from your calendar. Let's look at these questions. All right, Ms. Armstrong said, this is some real stuff. All right, Ms. Armstrong, I hope y'all learning, man. Y'all learning Hey, Brian. Learning? Yes. Um, I'm seeing a question pop up um, for the ED tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. or 9.30 p.m.? P.m., I'm sorry, tomorrow night. Okay. Yeah, it'll be, and it's going to be posted in the ED group. The schedule and the link. Thank you. Sorry about that. 930 tomorrow night. All right. Sonia gave me hearts and prayers. Thank you, Sonia. Barbara said, I can't stand drama. Well, you in the right group, Barbara. We don't do that drama stuff. Okay. I thought we were supposed to be a presentation to be a second thing they see. I thought we wanted the presentation to be the second thing they see. Marvin Green. Uh, we do. Well, they're going to... Marvin said, I thought we wanted the presentation to be the second thing they see. Well, you want them to see two things, right? So they, so it's called redundancy. So if they get on a conference call, then leave, leave that question up for me. If they get on a conference call, that's one type of presentation. Then they get on a webinar, that's another type of presentation. They go to the website, that's another type of presentation. So guys, when I did those two times, that can also be, hey, I want you to go to this website how to ship your income.com you can go there is it best to call you back after you see it at 3 30 today or you want 10 30 tonight see when i do the web when i do the the website that runs 24 7 i pick two times today you see what i'm saying when i do two events i'm picking the time of the two events but if i'm doing the website that i'm sending them to can you watch it today about 1 30 or you better this evening when the kids go to bed around 10 they're gonna pick one. Oh, give me some time man all right i'm gonna call you back 10 o'clock this evening Listen, guys, real quick. If you ever think a prospect is going to watch something and call you back, you sadly mistaken. You sadly mistaken. You might as well go on and, and have your frustration meter, meter on 10. Prospects never call you back because they don't know what we know, like how important this is and how good it is. So they're like, oh, I'll call you later, girl. We quarantine. You're like, no, you don't understand. We're trying to get some things done now while I have so-and-so waiting on us to talk to you. So he's better than I am because he's more experienced and I'm new. What's better for you today at 430 or you better yet 830 this evening kind of after you eat dinner. See, I always kind of let them know 
I'm gonna call you back once you see it at 8:30. Once they pick 8:30. So the, the webinar, the comp, I'm sorry, the website, howtoshiftyourincome.com, that's available 24/7. You pick any two times during the day, and they'll match one. And if they don't, you pull back. They say, ah, oh, neither one, man. That's okay. You give me which time slot is best for you to see it and call you. Let's go with 5:30. Okay, perfect. Whatever they do it works for you. They don't know. All right. Could you quickly explain the difference between Proper Party Wealth Webinar and the other two? Okay, Mr. Washington. So a conference call is all audio, right? That's all of us on the phone, and we kind of explaining this thing um, on the phone. Everybody dials into the 800 number or whatever. A webinar is kind of what we're doing here, where we got slides. It's more intimate than a conference call. But the reason I do conference calls sometimes is because I don't want people to think they got to be pigeonholed to a uh, computer. So you got the webinars. I mean, the conference calls. Then you got the webinars where they're at home and they can see us and see the slides. A private party is under normal circumstances before quarantine. We will be in your living room together. It's like eight of us, 10 of us, 12 of us. I've been to private parties where, you know, I've had 75 people right here in my house. They were sitting all up on the steps. I had chairs going down those steps, chairs going all across the back, the, the, the hallway there. I moved this sofa out. I had 75 people over here one time, like a hotel. So I've seen them small, I've seen them big. And that's where people actually come together. Right now, that's out, right? So we're just doing conference calls and webinars, three of each. Anybody want to add anything? Brandon, you want to say anything? Dre, Jessica, did I miss anything on that? The power of the triple double? Nope. Nah, not at all. Y'all scared to say I messed up? <laughs> all right. When will the link be you didn't miss up. Darren, the link will be sent today to the EDs. All right. I do I do want to add one thing, Brian. You already said it. You already said it, but I just want to reiterate, guys, the power of the three-way, man. Listen, use your experts. Um, a lot of people from a bunch of different teams, you know, have been hitting me up. Dre, what are you doing different? What are you doing? What do you what do you have going on? You know, I've sponsored, I think, over 30 people. And Brian to tell you, even now, I know this information like the back of my hand, and I still talk less. Uh the people that I talk to, I think about maybe five of them out of 30 people, 25, I got on a three-way with somebody, some type of expert. And I can explain this. I can answer all their questions. But like like Brian said, if people feel like they're going to have to know everything and do exactly what I do, then they're not going to, you know, I can't be duplicated, but the system can. People can't duplicate you, but they can duplicate the system. So no matter how much you learn and how much you know, get them to an expert. That's and right. then, you know, and, and it'll be so easy. Like people will be popping in left and right. And, you, and you're and you able to eliminate those excuses, too, because you get people's number one excuse. I'm not good at sales. You know, I, I'm not good at talking to people. And then you just let them know, well, listen, Brian just, you know, you reached out to Brian, right? Absolutely. So how much selling is Brian doing right now? Well, nothing. How much information did Brian give you? None. Who's giving you all the information? Me. Who's answering all your questions? Me. So do you think you can show somebody a video, get them on the phone with me, let me answer all the questions, and you get paid? Right. Yeah, I can do that. All right, let's go. That's right. Simple as that. You showing them the leverage and power of bringing another business partner in. All right. But that's all I wanted to add. Sounds good. Sounds good. That link, guys, will be in the extra digit ED only group. See, now we have we have ED groups, senior director groups, area director groups, district director groups. So I train each level differently, okay? I train each level differently. So some stuff EDs don't have to worry about, but seniors do. Some stuff areas don't have to worry about, but districts do. So I train each group differently. It'll be in the ED group today, I promise you, okay? All right. All right, man. Listen, I went a little longer than I wanted to, but y'all know I get into a zone. I want to make sure you got everything you need. If new people don't leave with nothing else, you got the mindset, no politics. Stay in phase one, understand, remove all your emotions, understand that this is a business. You understand that we have prospects, 50, create groups of five, make your 50 names out, peek them, asking a question, pass them to howtoshiftyourincome.com, pass them to one of your up and coming events. You should have two events on the calendar. Get with your upline and schedule your webinar conference call, your upline to put it all together and say, hey, it, wait, 
Camille is doing a webinar at 7.30. Barry want to do one at 8. Let's pull those together. You see what I'm saying? It's up to you guys to be organized and work as a group. That's why you got to get on Zoom. So y'all can say, hey, we got five new people. Let's do yours and yours Wednesday. Let's do yours and yours Thursday. That's how you come together as a team. All right. I got to run, man. I appreciate it. Dre, appreciate you. Brandon, you the best. Jessica, stop wearing the same shirt like me. We got a thousand of these. <laughs> Get off T-Mobile. You were great as well. Bert, you're a rock star. Represent Georgia Tech. And I, I'll see you guys. EDs tomorrow night. I'll see EDs tomorrow night. I'll talk to everybody else Tuesday night on the conference call. Peace. Thank you, sir. All right.